All right, Bella, you want to tell them what just happened? No, not really. <laughs> I'm never coming outside ever again. Why is it always me? And it was bleeding. And I'm really, really concerned. And we're going. I don't want to go to the emergency room. <laughs> yes, Mama, you need to go get it messed. You need to go get it figured out. Do what's right for us. Start it out here. Way beyond the tracks. The story of us and how we never look back. Cause this is our time. This is our life. And sometimes all you need is to smile. To get by. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to our channel and a frizzy hair day. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What is going on? I was in like a really big hurry this morning, and I think I dried my hair a little too rough. Anyway, Kayla has got something really exciting going on this morning. Yeah. And we're here for moral support. They are. We are. I was like, Mom, you wanna drive me today? I was like, sure. She was like so nervous. She was like, Mom, I just need to like prepare. But she is going for what? I'm going for a big girl job interview. A big girl job interview at a doctor's office. So, oh God, this so should be fun. Too. Oh my God, I look so rough. You do not look rough. So she's going in for a job interview and we'll catch you when you're done. Oh. Good luck. Thank you. Got you go. got this. I hope so. Love you. Oh God, I really hope it goes good. Be yourself, your happy, friendly, bubbly self and you'll do great. I hope so. Good luck. Thanks, do I look fine? You look great. Not really, but okay. You do. But I'm like tripping out on my hair today. I don't really know what's going on with it, but we're gonna rock it. Anyway, the kiddos are back here. They took a break from school because we had to bring Kayla to her job interview. Hey, could you try and connect me to the Wi-Fi? Bradley, will you see if they have Wi-Fi he can connect to? And I'm gonna start working on our vlog because that is what I need to do this morning or you guys aren't gonna have a video to watch. Okay, Kayla's back in the car. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> like, 12 know, minutes later. I don't know what the feel. That was weird. Okay, so Kayla came in the office and literally, what did they tell you? So I walked in and I met with, I'm, I'm assuming she's like higher up, but. Like the office manager or something? Maybe, I don't know. So I met with her and she's like, hi. She's like, um, I'm blah, 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 nice to meet you. I was like, I'm Kayla, nice to meet you too. She says, okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get you to sit over there by that little um, coat rack. And I was like, okay. So that was in the waiting room. I was like, okay, this is totally normal. I'll probably yeah. be with people soon so I sit by the coat rack and she brings out a clipboard and she's like okay I'm gonna just have you fill this out real quick and I was like okay I've already done this once but whatever yes yeah, so I filled it out and throughout the whole time filling out I met up with like I met like three of the people that work there mm -hmm. so they all came up and they're like hi I just introduce myself hi I want to introduce myself and I was like okay so I met with well, that's them. good that is good yeah um because I feel like if they've already hired someone, no one would be worried about introducing. Meeting, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I guess that was good. But Kayla didn't meet with the head doctor. But the, and we, that's who the appointment or the interview was with. Well, that's who was, was messaging with. me. That's yeah. who was messaging me, so I assumed I would just meet him. But maybe he just wants you to come in, actually, in office so you can fill out the full, the real application. So I walked in, and I kept, I saw the doctor, like, glance, but... He was just walking patients out. Like, he was busy. I filled out my application, I go up to the front. I figured after I handed that off, she was gonna be like, okay, you just have to sit down, sit back down, and then the doctor will be out here in a minute just to introduce yourself. That's right. what I assumed. I did too. Or the, at least the office manager will meet with you and like, I don't know. Yes, yeah, so I sit, so I hand her the thing. She goes, okay, girly, thank you so much for filling out. I'm gonna sit this on the HR's desk, and if they're interested, they'll reach out to you. I was like, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Like, like, how do you feel? Do you feel good? Do you feel like you got it or didn't? I don't know what to feel. Part of me feels good because I met with some people. Cause like, I feel like if they weren't like interested at all, I they just would, came in. Like, they yeah. would just been like, here, fill it out. Okay, thanks. Fingers crossed, I get this job. Cause so, I really want it. She really wants this job. We're gonna send some good vibes. Vibes my We're way. Send good vibes on <laughs> Kayla. Everybody keep their fingers crossed that she gets it. We're gonna head back home. Start back on homeschool. I really hope I get it. And wish you luck. So we get home and Aiden goes, can we go ahead and eat lunch? Please, can we eat lunch? I'm like, you guys, it's only like 11.30. What is it, A? Are you frozen? I got kids. You did? <gasps> yes! <laughs> I knew she'd be happy with a salad. <laughs> Your dad bought you, you did get jello. Your dad bought a cucumber and I went to cut it, but it was not. 
in the best shape. Yes, I love me. And Aiden got another Lunchable. Jello, yeah, I figure you would like that. <laughs> I'm so excited. Over lettuce and cheese and croutons. Yes, I love salad. <laughs> I know, you're a mess. So we're going to enjoy some lunch. I'm going to get back to editing while they eat. And then we got to get back on school. Briley had a quiz this morning at 100. Very, very good. And A, do you need my help? You want me to heat up your hot dogs? Yeah. Okay. Oh, all right, Briley, you want to tell them what just happened? No, just not really. Tell again. Okay, well, I was taking, we were taking the dogs out and... Hello? Did you see it? Okay, hang on. Okay, so we were taking the dogs out. Kayla's on FaceTime. Hey, Kayla. What the heck? I know. <laughs> it's, it's right by our house, too. Briley's telling the story. Charlie's in the bathroom, and I was watching her use the bathroom. And then, because I, I was waiting for her to be done, I was looking over there like, dude, Charlie, you're taking a while. And when I looked over there, I saw something right beside of her, and I was like, what is that? It looks really, really big and weird. So I looked at it, and I was like, that's the snakes. I grabbed Charlotte and then I ran to mom and I was like, Mama, there's a snake over there. She's like, where? And it's right there. And it's like, it, I guess it's a baby, but it looks big. <laughs> if you're like squeamish it. about snakes, which I don't like them either, I am. <laughs> I don't fast like forward it. the video, but I'm going to show what it looks like. Okay, it's right the here. Of it. There it is. Do you guys know what kind of snake that is? Because I do not. It's a baby. I don't know what that is. If you know, please let me know down below because I have yeah, no idea. there's probably a mama around here? Yeah. If there's a baby, there's a mama, and that's a pretty big baby. <laughs> I'm never coming outside ever again. I won't come outside. Uh, why is it always me finding the snakes? Why? I found one there. I found one over there. Why is it always me? On the other note, here's our table, guys, that I stained, and I matched our deck to it, but we changed the deck. Let me show you what me and Kayla worked on all day on Monday. One, two, three. Ta-da! Okay, how much better does that deck look? So, so much better. It's like a dark espresso color, and I'm in love with it. It looks so much better, and yeah, if you want to see the whole staining process, you can head over to Home with Tracy and check the video out, but let me know down below if you like it. So, the repairman just left. I forgot to tell you guys. I mentioned it in a vlog, but never kind of went back about it. Our washing machine has been spinning out of control like crazy. The lights blink in the living room when it's like spinning because it's just pulling a lot of energy or something. We really didn't know what was going on, but then it got to where it wouldn't even spin the clothes. I was like, something's wrong with it. So we called the repairman. He came today, looked at it, and gave me some very bad news. The bad news is he is not able to fix it. Okay, back up. He can fix it, but he recommended not fixing it because just the parts that I have to get to fix it are gonna be $400 plus labor. By the time I pay him to repair it, we could have went out and bought a brand new one. So I told him that's okay, let's skip that. And um, I appreciate him coming to look at it. I paid him for the service call and we're just gonna have to buy a new washing machine. So now I have to go on the hunt for that and don't really wanna have to buy one right now. That's like nothing I wanted to have to go out and purchase, but we're gonna have to have a washing machine, guys. We need one. That's on my agenda today. At some point, I wanna look at washing machines, whether it be online or we go in a store. Hadn't decided yet. But yeah, that happened. And while the repairman was here, I said, would you do me a huge favor? I have like this really random question. How scared of snakes are you? He said, not at all. I'm not scared at all. I said, good. I have one in the backyard. It's small. Would you be willing to go get it and do something with it? So he did. He removed the snake and put it out in the woods. So feel better about that. Oh, and by the way, it had passed on. The snake was not living. So he chunked it over the fence for me. <sighs> all is good. I just am terrified. Like, where's the mama's snake? You know what I mean? Where's she at? But as long as she don't come out, we're all good. So yeah, that's what's going on. The kid kiddos are almost done with school. Aiden has two more subjects and Briley's on her last one. So the day's going just as planned. We are all done with school and I'm so glad to be done. I know the kids are, aren't you kids? Yes. <laughs> But I wanted to take this time to show you guys a product or actually a few products that I got in the mail. I'm super excited to show you. I've collabed with Arteza 
already um, in the past. If you saw that video, comment down below, let me know. And we got a bunch of cool products from them. Well, they reached out and asked me would I like to collab again and show some other products. And after seeing them, I'm like, yes, I would love to. Because it's things that I know I need for school anyway, and I love their products. So stay tuned, let's show you what I got. The kids are gonna help me show these products. But we'll start with this one, is that cool, Aiden? Yeah. All right, so they sent me this. It is the Arteza Kids. It's 30 colors of finger paint. And 30? it's like this really nice box. And I've already opened it to look at the sizes and they're very good. Look at all those paints, Aiden. What do you think? That's cool. Isn't that cool? Comes with a ton of colors and the little containers are really good size. You just stick your finger in there? You do and you use them for finger paint. Um, you did a long time ago. And they also sent with it a pack of two 25 sheets for finger paint. It's a finger paint pad. So we're going to try this out and let's test out some of those colors and see what they look like. You ready? Yeah. Alright, pick a color. What color would you like? Um, I'm going to do red. Red. Oh. oh, it didn't get any on me. <laughs> well, it washes off. <laughs> you ready, A? <laughs> also in here, they gave a bunch of metallic colors. So they're real shimmery and shiny. Mm -hmm, you see them? All those on the bottom of Aiden are like shimmery, yeah. like metallic. Yeah. Well, I was excited when they asked about these because we can always use these. They actually sent me whiteboards. They're right over there in that basket. But they then said, would you like to try some chalkboards? And they match my chalkboard I have now. They do, have you not seen them? Okay, open it up. These are nine and a half by 12 chalkboards and how many comes in there? Five. They look just like my chalkboard. So when I saw them, I was like, yes please. But you get a pack of five and they also have string to hang them with. So that's really cool. That's why I told the girls if they wanted to, they could hang, hang one in their room to write notes on, hang one in the kitchen. It also has brackets, so you can just use a nail or you can hang it with the string. How cute are these? I mean, and when I say twins, so I mean twins. Am I not kidding? That's so, <laughs> so they also sent me, along with the five chalkboards, they also sent us these. It's a pack of 16 chalk pens, and I've never owned chalk pens, like chalk markers. Me neither. I've never had any, so we're gonna open those and see how well those write. Aiden is coloring our way over here with his little project. He said, oh my gosh, it looks like a bird on a stick. I was like, it does. So, we just realized when she first started writing, nothing was happening. I was like, wait a minute, I think you have to push to release. So you just push on the tip of the marker for just a second or two. It'll fill it up with the chalk, and then you can write. So, okay, yes. now, now, now let's try it. That is that so, is so pretty. Very you make your pretty. handwriting look really good too. Okay, so it also comes with these chalkboard stickers or chalk labels. That is really cool. So you can write on it and label things. I love that. Yes. It comes with stencils. Oh, that's so cool. And then it comes with more. Wow, that is awesome. So that all came in the chalk markers. Yeah. Cool. So thank you so much, Arteza, for sending us these really cool products. I know we're gonna have a lot of fun and a good school year using them, so I'm really glad you guys sent them to us. If you wanna get some for yourself, there's gonna be a link down below to the products we received. You can click on that link, check out these products or any of their other products. On the screen, I'm also gonna put a discount code. If you use that code, you're gonna get an awesome discount on your order. So make sure you guys check them out. You guys, it's raining on my new deck. I hope it's ready for rain. I think the instructions on the thing said that it was rain ready in like four to six hours and it's had all night, so I'm sure it's good. It's supposed to rain every day the rest of the week. So yay for rain. Are you excited for the rain? Mm, not really. Me Your either. Battery's blinking. I know it is. My battery's always blinking. It's blinking orange. 
But yeah, so we're waiting on Kayla to get home from work and then Kayla has to go to her second job. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all that girl does is work and she loves it. Like, who would have thought she loved working so much? Not me. She loves it. I know she likes her bank account. My battery just like totally died. Bradley started laughing at me. She was in the middle of talking. She's like, but. <laughs> <laughs> just Bradley is trying to come up with a movie yeah. not to watch. No. She's no. filming. Are you want to tell them? Well, so many people have requested like some movies and TV shows, and like I just don't know which one to start with because like I wanted them all. I just don't know. But what I'm pretty much gonna do is like I'm gonna do. I'm pretty sure you guys have probably seen them before. It's like if I was in, and then you put the movie name. I just don't know which movie or TV show I want to do. There, everybody has requested Outer Banks, Vampire Diaries. Ooh, Outer Banks. To all the ones I love before, and then. The kissing booth. Are you doing it today? Yeah, we'll go upstairs to do it real quick. Okay, so she's gonna be filming a YouTube video. It's gonna be if I was in a movie. Kind of like you just reenact pretty much just what like, your thoughts are if you were in the movie. Yeah, so pretty or you could be like or you could be like a character. A so character. Like I could play like, I don't know, John B and he'll be talking to his friends and I'm just like, uh, excuse me. Like, you know, yeah, it's kinda like kinda like a skit type thing. I think that'd be fun to do for YouTube videos. So Well after you That's film it, do. I want to see it. Yes. I'm gonna edit it tonight, I probably. Okay. Also have homework. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Go get busy. I know, I need to go and go get busy. Okay, I'm going. Bye. Bye. Look who's home, you guys. Look who's home. But look who's leaving, you guys. She literally came home to pretty much do what? Nothing? Do poop. <laughs> TMI, TMI. I, yeah, I, I had to pee and I was like, I'm just gonna go home real quick and then I'm gonna leave again. And I have to be at the gym now in like 10, 10 minutes. minutes. And she's gonna be late. So have fun at work. Thanks, bye. I told my husband when he was placing the grocery order to get some Alfredo sauce, okay? And he was like, oh, what kind do you want? Food line okay? And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. No big deal, I'm not really picky on the brand. I look in the pantry and he only bought one jar. <laughs> For this much pasta. But that's okay. He said, I thought you said get just one. I said, no, I said Food Line brand was fine. Anyway, I'm gonna make fettuccine Alfredo, but I'm gonna have to kind of recreate my own sauce in a way. What I do, if I don't ever have enough sauce, is I'll just do like a little bit of butter to kind of stretch it a little bit. And I'll add some extra Parmesan. And normally that works out just fine. You can also do a little milk, depending on how much this actually makes. I could thin it out a little bit with some milk. So yeah, that's what's for dinner. Maybe a salad, I don't really know. Just kind of low key dinner tonight. since I last vlogged. The last clip that you saw was me preparing dinner. Well, the doorbell rang. And when the doorbell rang, Briley went over to kind of peek around the corner to see who it was and she was bent down. Well, I went over there behind her. And when I went like this to look around, she stepped up, she stood up. And the back of her head hit my nose. I immediately grabbed it, ran over to the floor and just went down to the ground. <laughs> and I did like this and it was bleeding. And I brought me an ice pack, and I've had an ice pack on it. She hit me here in the tip, but the bridge is killing me. So I'm having a hard time I'm trying to let this like melt a little, cause it was like a solid block of ice. And I'm trying to put it up there, but it's so sore y'all. I can't smell anything. I can't really breathe out of my nose. And I'm really, really concerned it's broke. And we're going. Kayla wants to go to the ER. Because she, if it's broke, you need to have it x-rayed and look that. She took a picture of it. I think it's crooked. And I couldn't tell myself, but you know, it is sitting crooked. Her nose is sitting crooked. Let's see if you guys can tell. It is. 
Do you guys see how my nose is going that way? I told you. Oh my, oh, it's so uh -uh. sore. And the tip and of my nose. swollen. I know, my eyes are a little bruised too. I'm really concerned it's broke. There is a bump right there, if you guys can see yeah. that bump right there. It's not there, it's on this side. My nose is a little crooked. And she claims the tip of her nose is numb. The tip of my nose is like super numb and I don't know why. Like I rub it and I can't feel it. It's like an odd sensation. Like all the nerves aren't working. Face my nose on it. <laughs> Sorry. So, so we are heading to ER. I really don't want to go. We're going to go because you need to get it checked out. Oh gosh, I feel like crying. I don't want to go to the emergency room. We have masks. I hate doctors. We're going to take Bradley home because she has no shoes and you can only have one guest in the emergency room. What are they going to do? Reset it? They might. Yeah, and what I read is they got to numb your face. So I can't. Botox. That is not even <laughs> funny right now. Oh, tell them to fill in her wrinkles while they're at it. I'm just it was a joke. Leave me alone. Try to make you laugh. I'm not gonna We're gonna, gonna laugh. go to Hardee's. We're gonna get some thick burgers. This and, then, is there. Yeah. Me <laughs> and then we're gonna go to the hospital. I don't want to go to the emergency room. Yes, Mama, you need to go get it mess. You need to go get it figured out. It hurts so dang bad. It's so exactly. Bad. I mean, it's crooked too. It's sitting sideways. So we the next clip. Here's the thing though. Wait before you say the next clip. They're gonna send me to like. No, they're not. They'll be able to or something. Ear, nose, and throat. Not to reset your nose. They want. Yes, they will. They will reset it there. Mom, if you go to a hospital, they have those people there. They'll just reset it right there. Okay, if someone walks into emergency room, they're gonna be like, "Oh wait, you have to wait till Monday." What to get to the You have one to two weeks to fix it before it's it grows back permanent. I would just go ahead and figure out what it is tonight because we have a busy schedule tomorrow. I'm working tomorrow, so who's gonna watch the kids? Your, no dad, your dad said he would stay home if he had to. I was gonna get it over with tonight. Oh god, y'all, I don't want to go. And I gotta take her to the ortho like 7 30 in the morning. Well, I mean, you can sleep in the hospital bed. I don't know what to do. I've had no dinner. I didn't eat because all this went down, so I didn't eat. Well, I haven't had lunch, breakfast, or dinner, so I feel what? like... What? I've had, like, some potato chips. But I'm fine. We can go. Oh, my God. Your nose is crooked. It needs to be fixed. Wouldn't it hurt a lot worse, though? I mean, it's very sore. I can hardly touch it. Right here. I just hate the tip of my nose is numb. That's why you probably should just get checked out. Stop touching your nose. <laughs> my nose feels weird now because your nose, you're talking about your nose. <laughs> I'm one of those people that someone's like, my finger hurts. I'm like, my fingers hurt too. <laughs> oh God. You guys, when it rains, it pours. That's right. Did I tell you we had to buy a whole new washing machine? What? Yeah, they can't fix it. What happened? If they fix it, it's gonna be like more than a washing machine. Four hundred for just parts, not including labor. Dang. Yeah, and he said it would take two men a whole afternoon to do it because they gotta take the whole barrel out, the drum, and all that. And yeah. Well, do I sound like I'm talking nasally? You sound stuffy. Yeah, and that's a sign of. Oh my God, y'all! Your nose being messed up. Okay. So you'll see us guys at the hospital. I don't know. I'll update you when I get home. I need to call and if you see, wait too listen, long. Listen though, here's it's the thing. Get too late. No, but if I we need to call up there and ask ask them what can they do for a broken nose or is it best to wait and go to an ENT? Because if I go up there for them just to x-ray and verify it, but they don't do anything. Well call and ask and see. Alright. Anyway guys, I got a broke nose probably. Maybe not. Maybe it's just fractured. I don't know, but we'll update you shortly. So I decided to not go to the ER. The reason I decided against going is I'm just not sure what they could do for me at the ER, to be honest with you. And I think I'm gonna wait and call my ENT doctor tomorrow. Plus, the copay to go to the ER is ridiculous versus going to the ENT. So that, what was that? <gasps> Did it break? No, I don't know how it felt. I wasn't even in here. Just lay it flat on the floor. Okay. It was a vacuum. I was telling the girls and my husband, the main thing that's concerning me is just my nose is numb. 
the tip of my nose like if I rub it it's so numb there's like no feeling there my husband said that could be just from the impact and it's gonna take time to get all that back so I don't know it's super sore here and it's got a bump right here but like I said I've been icing it but it's really sore so I'm gonna try to just go to bed tonight get some sleep it's already 10 30 I'm tired it's been a long day and a long night and I'm gonna call the ENT tomorrow and hopefully they can get me in and look at it to make sure nothing's wrong the main things I told you is it's numb and I can't really breathe good my eyes were like really dark they still are kind of dark if you can see it or mainly this one you see how much darker that one looks right here than this one I mean, that one looks dark too so honestly i don't know what i'm gonna look like tomorrow if i wake up and have two black eyes but you guys will understand but i'm gonna let you know what happens and if i do get an appointment i'm concerned that they won't do same day appointments so i may have to wait a couple days which i guess won't hurt anything and i'm hoping tomorrow this feeling comes back because that is really bothering me it reminds me like when i touch it like this like i can touch this and i can't feel anything but if i touch up here it'll bring me down to my knees it hurts so bad that's what's weird but if this doesn't come back tomorrow, that's what I'm concerned with. I'm just ready for this to have feeling to it. It feels like when your foot goes to sleep, but it's trying to wake up. So it's kind of got like the tingly sensation. That's what I'm feeling. But I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know the update. We didn't go to the ER, save the money. We have a washing machine to buy. You know, it's always something. It's always something. And I don't think it's just our family. I feel like everybody feels this way at times in their life where it just feels like, it's one thing after the other. Yeah, so just more to add on to the plate, but it's okay. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next vlog. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.